Good morning. This is Pastor Ken at Northminster Presbyterian Church. And uh, it is Thursday that you should be viewing this uh, video. Uh, it's Monday, Thursday, uh, April 9th. And I'd like to share a scripture with you. Uh, first of all, it's from 1 Peter 2 and verse 24. He himself bore our sins in his body on the cross so that we might die to sins and live for righteousness. By his wounds, wounds you have been healed. You know, one of my favorite uh, devotions is um, My Utmost for His Highest by Oswald Chambers. I've had the book for many, many years. And I thought I was reading... Uh, this scripture, and I thought I would share it with you uh, today and his thoughts on it. So I'm sorry I'm wearing my glasses and I'm reading this to you, but it was very moving to me and I hope it'll be moving to you. The cross of Christ is the revelation of God's judgment on sin. Never tolerate the idea of martyrdom about the cross of Jesus Christ. The cross was a superb triumph in which the foundations of hell were shaken. There is nothing more certain in time or eternity than what Jesus Christ did on the cross. He switched the whole of the human race back into a right relationship with God. He made redemption the basis of human life. That is, he made a way for every son of man or daughter of man to get into communion with God. The cross did not happen to Jesus. He came on purpose for it. He is the lamb slain from the foundation of the world. The whole meaning of the incarnation is the cross. Beware of separating God manifest in the flesh from the Son becoming sin. The incarnation was for the purpose of redemption. God became incarnate for the purpose of putting away sin, not for the purpose of self-realization. The cross is the center of time and of eternity, the answer to the enigmas of both. The cross is not the cross of a man, but the cross of God, and the cross of God can never be realized in human experience. The cross is the exhibition of the nature of God, the gateway whereby any individual of the human race can enter into union with God. When we get to the cross, we do not go through it. We abide in the life to which the cross is the gateway. The center of salvation is the cross of Jesus. And the reason it is so easy to obtain salvation is because it cost God so much. The cross is the point where God and sinful man merge with a crash. And the way to life is opened. But the crash is on the heart of God. That is the heart of our God, that he came incarnate in Jesus Christ to go to the cross to pay for our sin. On this Monday, Thursday, and as we move towards Good Friday, I hope that even in the midst of this coronavirus, that we will focus our thoughts on the love of God, the love of God seen on the cross, that Jesus Christ loved us so much that he came and gave his life for us. Hallelujah. Amen.